What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Pokey Jmart. What's up, what's up, what's up? All right, I know it's been uh, definitely over a little over a week. Apologies. Um, we're, yeah, I think we're just, just over a week, like eight eight days or so. Uh, again, I know I'm trying to do once a week, maybe twice. Um, so, if you check it out in the background, we got the pre-release boxes lined up. As some of you may know, maybe not all of you, uh, a lot of the pre-releases for Ultra Prism are actually either happening or going on right now, or happened yesterday, or happening today, or happening tomorrow kind of thing. It is the 20th of January. Uh, that's when they were kind of slated to kind of come out. Got them all lined up. Base set, <clears throat> Guardians, Burning, Crimson, and Ultra Prism. Um, now, as always, guys, I always try to have uh, one sealed for the channel. Um, I think there was one that we didn't get to do. Um, Might have been GR. I never, I didn't get to open that on the channel, but I think that I did. Some of these were definitely on the channel, but anyway, uh, most of them were. Um, I did pick up an extra one, and then plus an extra one. So I got two. The uh, reason I got two more is because, you know, it's eight packs. Um, you know, get to open up eight packs, Ultra Prism. It's brand new. It's not on the market yet. Uh, it be sweet to see. Uh, I'm going to do a quick showcase of some of the cards I did pull. Um... Now, they're not great, unfortunately. I got kind of beat up in, in regards to pulls, um, which also in, in turn kind of sucked for uh, my gameplay. I was 1-1-1, uh, one, and, one. When, when, and if you don't know what I mean by that, I won one, tied one, and lost one. Um, the tie kind of sucked because it really looked like I was going to win it. Uh, we had one more round to go. I hit him with a, um, I hit him with a really good uh, hard-hitting move at the end. But he had a, 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 an ability where it was minus 30, and it would have been a knockout. Um, but that minus 30 kept him alive, so it ended up being a tie. Um, so I'm going to quickly show some of those off. Uh, I'll show you my deck that I built, if I can find it. I don't really know where I put it. It's my backpack, I think. Um, there's my bag of goodies that I always bring with. There's a bunch of... Uh, some of the package, the uh, the new uh, wrappers, what they look like. Um, also, I have a, do have a cold, so I apologize if you can hear that in the background when I'm speaking. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know what I did with um my actual 40 card deck that I built. It would still be in still be in the sleeves, I would assume, right? Yeah, I don't know. Right, I'm not gonna waste time off camera. Uh, yeah. I had no idea what I did with it. I thought I had it handy, but I guess I don't. Alright, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Well, I wonder if that means I, I left it behind. Yeah, how funny would that be? If I left it at the place. I don't think that's the case. I think it's downstairs. But anyway, I digress. Um, I'm going to give you some code cards, so you're going to get some brand new, um... Brand new Ultra Prism code cards. Basically, my deck that I built consisted of, um... Um, it was electric and what was it? electric and uh, electric and fighting type. Um, I rolled Garchomp and I rolled Electabuzz and Electrovire, Electrover. Um, that uh, the evolved form of Electabuzz had a really hard hitting move, uh, like uh, Vault Tackle or Vault Knuckle, and I was just knocking them out with that. And what was nice is it had an ability move that if I was fighting a um a metal type metal type card. Well, type energy uh, Pokemon, uh, it would paralyze them every turn. So, paralyzed it, they couldn't do nothing. Then it'd go back to active, and then my, my turn again, I'd hit them again, same one. And so, it was kind of working, but then if they'd knock it out, I was kind of screwed. So, anyway, let's go over these quick. Um, I did pull one decent card. Uh, you get, you know, Floatool, Missing, Clover, Turtonator, uh, Markra. I'm just showing you so, you so you guys know what's in this set. Magnemite. That's cool. Good looking artwork. I like that. Kind of reminds you of like a Paragon kind of thing going on. Uh, Snover, Glammeow, Drifloon, Salandit, Garchomp. Uh, Garchomp was heavily played. Uh, Pretty loose. Missing Clover, Turtonator, Bronzong, um, Magmar. I was going to roll the Evolve form of this guy, but uh, Magmortar. But I only had one of them, so I couldn't. Uh, Low and Diglett, Sneasel, Magnemite, uh, Cherubi, Cherubi, uh, another um, crocheted Pokemon. They seem to do that in every every set. Yanma, Roserade, uh, Orangaroo, Looker Whistle. That like basically summons. <laughs> that's a Yu-Gi-Oh term. Um, summons a, a card card Looker called Looker. Uh, Floatzel, 
Lone and Vulpix, Lone and Diglett, Shinx, Yanma, and Bronzer. So there's some some stuff that you know is in this set. Um, <clears throat> yeah, as far as my deck went, I don't know how I put that. Um, I was gonna try to run this, but I only pulled one of it, and the problem is the HP was mad low. Uh, but luckily, you didn't need any energy to actually use it. You just need energy then if you wanted to do 30 times more. So anyway, um. Some more Sneasel, what else did you see? Skuntank, uh, Rulu, Passimian, Molo, uh, Carvine, Mega, what else? Turtonator, Chimchar, Magmar, there's a Hollow Bag Mortar I pulled. I was going to roll that, but like I said, um, there was only one of them that I pulled. Um, it did 160, and this Pokemon is your active Pokemon and is damaged by an opponent's attack. Pokemon's not burnt, so I definitely wanted to roll that. It would have been good, but I just didn't pull enough of it. There's that little insert you always get with it. Okay. Uh, Mount Cornet, that's a new one. Electric Memory, Fire Memory, uh, Cosmium, Spirit Tomb, Drip Loon, uh, Low and Dotrio. Now, I noticed I only pulled one of these, but this was. These are some of the packs I had after. The packs you get after you, you compete or win. Um, Sand Slash, Piplup, Sand True. So anyway, um, I ended up pulling another one after the fact. And then my promo that I pulled was the uh, Lucario Ultra Prism promo. And that is Sun and Moon 95. Got that nice little stamp. The stamp looks great. I like that stamp. Looks great. And then with my bonus packs at the end, I ended up pulling this Valley Civil GX. So it's the first time seeing that. Cool, cool. And then some co cards. But um, I don't know if these are active or are gonna work yet, so hopefully you guys get lucky. <clears throat> so anyway, um let's go ahead and crack uh these two boxes a while. And then also two guys. I'm gonna um, be at, uh, attaching um, at the end of this video, right, right, just continuation, right as it ends, um, some photos of the gameplay, the pre-release uh, yesterday, and um, and a couple just a couple quick clips of people playing and and who was all there and, and the setup and the, the store a little bit. So if you want to, you know, stay tuned and check that out. You, know, you might know somebody. I don't know. Um, check it out. Anyway, all right, so we got these two open. There's the Lucario, the Savali. Um, I'll be doing more code cards as we go. We're going to quick crack these open. Uh, next video, we're going to be cracking the uh, Zoroark Shining Legends GX, Charizard GX, and uh, Raichu Shining Legends GX box, uh, like in the last video was mentioned. I'm um, going to hold off on that only because we're doing this now. If I had I not gone to this, I would have probably been doing that instead. Okay, so I think I pulled the Lucario again. Yeah, I did. Lo lovely. <clears throat> so there it is. Um, hmm, yeah, well, that doesn't really help me too much, uh, one of the, uh, I was trying to get all four, and I was hoping to get all three at this particular instance, I think I gave away that code card that comes in this already, I don't recall, but I'm sure I probably already gave that out, <clears throat> alright, again, I apologize for the cold, kind of messing me up, alright, alright guys, cross your fingers for a sick pull, um, Hyper Rare would be fantastic, and is it stuck? I don't think it was stuck. No, that's the rare. Okay, um, Skunk Tank, Reverse, and a Drapion. Lovely, the Cynthia. Oh, I, and also I pulled I pulled three Cynthias prior to playing, so I ended up rolling three Cynthias, which definitely helped, but um, unfortunately it wasn't clutch enough in my deck that I ran. But I was like one of the few people that pulled pulled Cynthias. I had a Reverse Reverse Hollow Cynthia, two regulars. <clears throat> I ended up running all three. Okay, and there's a new oh there's a reverse E B. And here's a new hollow that I've not seen. Priscilla. It's a psychic. Lunar payback and uh psychic is the move. And there's a Mars. Draw two cards. If you do, just card a random card from your opponent's hand. Oh shit. Hmm. I like that. I feel like that could be pretty good. Uh, Shinx, Dewpider, some other ones we haven't seen, Drifloon, Lupunny, Glammeow, Snover, 
Uh, I can never say this. Hippopotamus, hippopotamus. I don't know. Shinx. Hate that. Hate that one. I don't even, I don't even, I don't even attempt it. Oh, left camera up. There we go. Woo! Well, that's actually kind of like that. Better artwork on the back there. Alright. Ooh, a reverse lily. Draw cards until you have six cards in your hand. If it is your first turn, draw it. Cards until you have eight cards in your hand. I actually pulled two of these, too. So I had two of these in my deck as well, which was also very beneficial, but... Um, unfortunately, yeah. So, here's my code card. Well, it got four packs in. And... No dice here so far. I was trying to get one hyper. One hyper, even a four. Hour, just something to get my money back on what I paid for these bad boys. Cosmium. And Alone Slandru Non-Hollow. Okay. Fire memory, order pad. What's this? Flip a coin if head search your deck for an item card, reveal it, put it in your hands, and show your deck. Okay. Uh, you can use people were running that plus the gumshoe version of it, the Zol version. Wasn't too bad. Here's a little insert. You get a little bit of artwork, talks about the, the new set, and then it just talks about the pre release and how to play and the different rule set for pre releases. I'm gonna do that. Okay. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Okay, good. We got a different one. Oh, God. We got the uh, Gumshoes. Sun and Moon 97. Ultra Prism. <coughs> Promo. Stamp looks good. The Ultra Prism stamp? I like that. One of the better looking ones. <coughs> All right. And here's the pack art, Leafeon. Oh, looks like Giratini, Giratina. Uh, ooh. Duskmane, Necrozma. You know, it looks like Solgaleo. And then... Lunala, maybe like a... Like a some type of Lunala. Duskmane, Lunala? I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand the set. Oh, and they got their special cards in this set. It has like the, the diamonds in the middle of them. Ancient Crystal, and a Frost Rotom. That's the first time I've seen this. If you have nine or more Pokemon tool cards in your discard pile, ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of these Pokemon's attacks. Frost Crush. This attack does 20 more twenty more damage times the amount of energy attached to all your Pokemon. Hmm. First time I've seen that. And first time I've seen Ancient Crystal. The Regirock, Regialis, Registeel, or Regigigas. This card is attached. He takes slightly less damage. Okay. Well, guys, I'm getting a little concerned here. Out of eight packs, we've pulled nothing. <clears throat> I mean, sometimes these pre release kits suck. That's ridiculous. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Don't be a hollow. Ugh. Oh, God. Another, another, another set with Infernape in it. Put six damage counters instead of two on your opponent's burn Pokemon turns. Oh, wow. Hmm. Of course. <clears throat> Another set with Infernate. I remember that one set a while back. I was just pulling every hollow Infernate possible. Okay. All right, guys. Two packs left. Come on, last pack, Maddie. Come on, let's. You got. You know, come on. This is ridiculous. I wanted to get. You know. Just, you know, some pre-release kits. You know, get to get some of the new content. Oh shit! Look at that. That's cool. Uh, Look at this bad boy. Dragon type. Alolan Executor. Executor, rather. Draco Meteor Barrage. Uh, Draco Meteor Barrage. Flip a coin for each green grass energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does energy. Um, this attack does 80 damage for each heads. Hmm. Okay. That is a rare... <laughs> the Shinotic. Shinotic. And everything else we've already kind of seen. Alright, last pack magic. Let's, um... You know, I thought eight packs, you know. I don't know. What do I know? 
Kind of open, right? Moo dice! Type no in a reverse. <clears throat> wow, that's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Insane in the membrane. Reverse magnemite. <clears throat> and a type null. Hmm. And then I'm missing clover. Hmm. That's kind of nuts. If you played four cards, four missing clovers, take a prize card. That's pretty nuts. That's cool. And a mana fee. Alright. <laughs> well, there was, uh, alright, uh, that was going to be eight packs of Ultra Prism pre release. <coughs> Rather out of a pre release kit. And there's another code card for you. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, just, you know, just seeing some of the cards, even some of the basic common and rares, you know, uh, seeing what they look like. Got to see two different promos. Uh, Savali GX out of the new set. This is all out of the new set as a, as a reminder. Um, whole bunch of reverse rares that you got to see. Whole bunch of new code cards. Hope you guys do a better, better job than I did. That was a bit ridiculous that, um, I couldn't pull, you know, a darn thing out of that. Um, so, but anyway, let's, um, let's quick crack, um, <laughs> we're gonna quick crack the Zoark. Uh, GX. I'm gonna just, um, I'm a little laggy, huh? Is that laggy? A little bit. It like, yeah, no, it's not, though. I don't know, it's weird. Alright, I'm gonna crack this off screen, guys. Um, just because it's quicker, it's faster. It's a little cleaner. If I can get it started, though, however. That's half the problem, half the battle. Cut. You get a four Zorak and a Zorora, which is Sentiment 83 and Sentiment 84. There they are. And you have five packs, looks like. We will save the Raichu and the Charizard GX box for another day. <laughs> and I have something I want to showcase in on another video. So we got five Shining Legends. One of the newer sets, not the newest set, but one of the newer sets, so that's always cool. Cross your fingers for a darn hyper rare. Hey, Shining Jirachi. I mean, I can't complain, I just feel like, I will say this, I feel like they overprinted this. I was talking to my buddy last night, the previous uh, Zhang. He kind of said that, that, you know, he pulled all the Shinings, like, real quick, too, and it really didn't take that long. Um, I, I kind of tend to agree, it, it did... I feel like it went pretty quick um, in regards to pulling all the shinies. Now, I mean, they're still cool cards. I mean, I like them. You know, this this is all just you know basic card material here on the sides. The only thing I wish I wish they would have done like I wish they would have made like this silver the the text where it says shiny Jirachi. I wish they would have made like that a silver color just to kind of make the card kind of pop a little more and stand out. Almost kind of like made the font shiny as well. Uh, like you know, shiny Jirachi. Well, why not make the 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 font also shiny. But anyway, that's just my, my opinion. But cool card. Um you know, shinies are cool. Uh, it's always something to keep, you know, for a collector's item someday. So then there's that. Um I do need I need a I need a Rainbow Rare Ente. Rainbow Rare Ente. And I'm speaking of Ente, Ente GX. Okay. At least these are better pulls than my last one, jeez. Two out of two packs. I was really hoping for the Ultra Prism though, with it being new and stuff. I may or may not buy one more pre release kit online. I probably should have bought a third one yesterday, but I kind of figured with eight packs, I'll probably pull one good card. Guess that's not the case. <laughs> oh, two Keldeos. Look at that. Uh, reverse and a hollow. Back to back. Two time. The two time. Right. And then let's go ahead and open this guy. 
Yeah, I do need a rainbow rare. Um, I do need a rainbow rare. Ente. Uh, more Shadow of Lavesta. Lavesta. Uh, I think I have me too. I have Raichu. Who else is in that set? Uh oh. We don't honestly remember. No, that's a promo. Um, whoever that fourth one is in that set, I, I would need that one too. I can't pull, I can't pull who that is. Off the top of my head. And a, well, of course, a Verizon Wireless. We would end on a Verizon Wireless card because I pull this every fucking time I open up a Shiny Legends pack. Okay. Energy Retrieval. Uh. Reverse. Uh, yep. Alright, and we're going to have about a code. Shining Legends. There you go. And to finish it off, thanks for sticking around. I'm going to give you two more Ultra Prisms. Because you hung out to the end. And that's a brand new set. And hopefully you guys get way better stuff on the online TCG than I did. Hopefully you guys at least pull a standard GX. That'd be cool, right? Alright guys, that's been an Ultra Prism pre-release kit box opening with a, what do we do, um, Zora Shining Legends box as well, special collection box, okay, that's going to be it guys, uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, I appreciate it, um, definitely looking out to give some stuff away again, uh, I'm going to be giving out the Lucario pack with the code card in the back and then the, the evol evolution deck pre-built deck that you could you know use if you'd want to play i don't know um obviously when that set actually comes out this card kind of be a little kind of pointless but um, as for now there's still somewhat somewhat playable just because it's still in the pre-release stage okay guys um like comment share subscribe thanks for watching i'll see you guys around in the future a deuces Guzzlord last really as far as or some playing guess I'll play Guzzlord you can take like the Didn't your son pull Guzzlord? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh Guzzlord, we're all like a little cheated. That's terrible. Uh always that's what Jim said in my brain goes crying. This would be like around two hours. Yeah, no, I thought it was a five. Alright, I just took a pack out of it.